Hello friends. Today our dream has come true to visit the Isle of Skye in Scotland. And as you can see now, we are driving to the most beautiful island on the earth. In this episode, we are going to take you to thousands of miles of rugged landscapes, cute fishing villages, outstanding sceneries, local wildlife and unforgettable road trip experience. Why not join us and enjoy the travel through the Isle of the Sky? If you are joining us for the first time, then we welcome you to the world of Falhar Nomads, where we create travel videos of the most beautiful locations found around the world. Keep traveling with us to find your next holiday destination. We are Falha Nomads and presently traveling through the Isle of Skye, the most stunning and most visited island. While driving in such a beautiful land to reach your destination, the surroundings give you exquisite photography and videography locations that tempt you to stop capturing it for your collection and lead to forgetting the time in driving in dark beach conditions. There are two options available to reach the Isle of Skye. And one option is to use the ferry from Malaik or the other is to drive via Kyle of La Charles passing through the Skye Bridge. the Isle of Skye after midnight and the only ones who were awake to welcome us were the famous sheep of the island. While driving on the interior roads, especially during night times, you must go very carefully as the sheep takes shelter on the roads with no fear of the oncoming cars. No sooner we open the window curtains of our Airbnb, then all our tiredness disappeared watching the beautiful view while enjoying the delicious breakfast. Our room was small but cozy and equipped with all the facilities including microwave, fridge and toaster to enjoy our stay. A link to this Airbnb listing is given in the description if you would like to book your stay. Later on, we enjoyed clicking beautiful pics using the stunning view outside the house as the backdrop. As we set out to explore the island, it gave us more surprises. The Isle of Skye is voted as the most desirable place to live in Britain with its rugged landscape and village charm. Most village houses are scattered from each other and are far away from the main road. Each home has a large field and is gated as seen in the clip. To quickly locate the house, one has to know the house number on the dustbin found near the main road. The Isle of Skye is also an excellent destination for wildlife sighting and a paradise for bird watchers. Travelling in the Isle of Skye gives a fascinating view of scattered houses with landscape forming a beautiful backdrop. If there is a paradise for animals, then it is none other than the Isle of Skye. With abundant water with vast green pastures, cattle farming has flourished a lot in this area. Flocks of sheep wander the fields and if you are lucky, you may even bump into the iconic highland cow alongside the small roads. With its single narrow roads, passing places have been created for smooth driving of the oncoming cars. Overlooking the bay is the village of Portree, which is the island's capital and located to the east side of the sky. Portree as a fishing village was built at the beginning of the 19th century and it is approximately 200 years old. With its bustling port and thriving cultural centre, 
Autry forms the main attraction amongst the visitors. Thomas Telford designed the poultry pyre that has a photogenic harbour and surrounded by cliffs. Poultry is considered amongst the 20 most beautiful villages in the UK and Ireland. The drive towards the Fairy Glen was very refreshing as we drove through many trees on both sides of the road while getting to see beautiful landscapes that made us stop and click with our cameras. When planning our tour to the Isle of Skye, the first name that popped up was the Fairy Glen. While walking through the enchanting and beautiful geological area, we experienced a walk through heaven. The walk towards the Fairy Glen was out of this world and gave us a heavenly experience amid greenery and breathtaking sceneries, with the lake on the other side with an impression that we have stepped into magical realm. The narrow muddy lane directly led us to the fairy circle and suddenly magical landscape opened in front of our eyes and made us feel as if the earth has sculpted weird. We were awestruck by seeing the incredible geological formations. There are no supernatural legends here as people say but its strange beauty is captivating enough and need to be seen to believe. It's a place where a single person, couple or a family can enjoy a morning or an evening stroll amongst a cluster of hills. Taking advantage of the grassy glen's natural colors, which were incredibly vivid on that sunny day, we decided to spend some time creating beautiful portraits. Nish Point Lighthouse is located on the western coast of Sky, and there is enough parking available with no entry fees. It is an excellent place for walkers with rolling hills and the sea's view over the cliff. On the day, the weather was not in our favour and we witnessed heavy winds and as a result, it restricted our movement, keeping in mind our safety. After following the concrete path over the hills, the lighthouse and the point came into sight. This beautiful part of the Isle of Skye is one of the most famous lighthouses amongst the photographers. It provides breathtaking views of the cliffs, sky, pristine waters and wildlife. At sunset, the cliffs and the lighthouse become the paradise for the photographers. Before heading to Highlands, we decided to visit Kiltrock and Sligachan Old Bridge. On our way to Kiltrock, we saw a beautiful mat lodge and we were mesmerized by its crystal clear water and the reflection of the colorful sky that we decided to stop and click few photographs. Kiltrock was another visual treat for us. Hilt Rock and Melt Falls are seen from the same viewpoint and it's well worth visiting. Sligachan Old Bridge is crossing a small rock strewn river with fantastic mountain views and it is very illustrative of the old and wild Scottish countryside. Sligachan Old Bridge was our last spot before saying goodbye to the Isle of Skye.